Yes, perfect, love it, love it. Work with me, work with me. Hold it right there, right there. Perfect. Photography is all about being in the right place at the right time, especially if your subject is moving. But look at this guy, he's a natural. You can take five, by the way. Capturing that perfect shot with all the mid-air drama was the specialty of Ralph R. Doubleday. He was one of the first photographers to actually get into the rodeo arena, risking life, limb, and camera lens to capture the action. Which isn't much of a feat with today's modern technology, but Doubleday didn't have the luxury of a camera this small. Can you imagine staring down a raging bull carrying a camera like this one? Doubleday's photography career developed after taking this photo at the Cheyenne Frontier Days in 1910. It is believed to be the first picture of a cowboy flying off a horse, giving Doubleday the exposure he needed to become the first name in rodeo photography. From Bronx, to bull riding, to death-defying stunts, Doubleday was instrumental in documenting rodeo's golden age. The only thing that rivaled his love for the rodeo was his affection for women of the sport. Doubleday became quite popular with the ladies thanks to his glamour shots of cowgirls and considered himself, quote, an old bachelor, even though he was married. Foghorn Clancy, a rodeo historian at the time, wrote that, Many a cowboy has wondered why the ladies will rave about the swell ride of a champion bronc rider or the fast time made by a bulldogger and then stroll away with a photographer. Doubleday pioneered a new industry of action photography that still endures today. You can find his work here at the American Rodeo Gallery in the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or check our website at nationalcowboymuseum.org. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching, folks.